Take me to the future, Patsy, quick! What's wrong with you? Tennis Brady, I owe him money. Will you drop me in the next week? What you want to go to next week for? Because I'm expecting a check. I can pay him back. Come on, next week. I'm running low. I can only take you into tomorrow. That's all good to me. I need to go to next week. I'll take you into tomorrow, like. Not worth the shite to me. I need to go to next week. When did you borrow the money? This morning. I'll tell you what. I'll take you into yesterday before you borrow the money from when you see him ignore him. She's never thought of that. That's why I'm driving. I see you out on the streets a lot, mm. filming at the mm. weekends and stuff. Mm. And I mean, f does this show take over your life? I mean, you've yeah. got two, two yeah. young sons, one yeah. small yeah, sons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gone, basically. Yeah, no, it completely takes over your life. Yeah, and today is the last day I'm working on it because I just did the VO for the future episode, which is next Monday. So, mm -hmm. so this, that's it. It's over. It's, it's now. It's over. But yeah, I was out doing. I was out doing, uh, you know, Vox Pop, and, and about one in ten Vox Pops are good, you know, because, you know, you talk to some people, they actually don't have an opinion, they don't have a point of view, or they're very inarticulate, mm -hmm. or they're shy, they'd say that, you know, or if somebody's trying to be funny, and it's not funny, but then if somebody's speaking passionately, has, you know, and also, yeah, so, so you, you're just standing around for fucking ages trying to get people to get that one, and, it, and it's not about making fun of those people, though, it's about them keeping the thing rattled along and all that kind of stuff. We have the x-ray here. There seems to be a blockage around the chest area. Okay. Plainly speaking, it's better out than in. And when can you do it? Well, we can do this straight away. Okay, go ahead, doctor. Okay, no problem. Just bear with me. Go. Man, just relax there. Relax there, we'll have a little look. Okay, Dermot. Just breathe in for me. And out. Oh, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. That's what was causing all the trouble. No, oh, there you go. Good man. Didn't hurt a bit. You can pay on the way out. Why was the Joe Duffy character ch name changed to John? There's a very well, you see this is bullshit. This is bullshit about the, the, the litigious sort of nonsense. You know, look, if you're a public figure, and especially somebody like Joe Duffy, and the way he be talking, and he makes those kind of. It sounds like. He's, he's, he's fucking the people he's talking to. Somebody, or he's getting off on the people he's talking to. Somebody asked, do your nipples get hard during the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, 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 but, but uh, like, he, he won't... He won't uh, like, in, in the UK, the libel laws or whatever the fuck, they're much more relaxed. Whereas here, you, know, you have to call him John Duffy. It's kind of stupid. Like, you, you hear uh, Brian Camp. Brian Cannon, somebody, I heard on, on some radio, hi, I'm crying bound. I'm like, oh, fuck off. Well, you can't fucking make fun of Brian Cannon. What the fuck? What kind of country? We're gone again? Yep. Okay. Um, how does your brother Barry feel about you effectively parodying him? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, um, I actually went out uh, two days ago dressed as the minister with right. Barry. Right. Uh, so it just shows you how bad <laughs> things yeah, are going for him. <laughs> that, that he needs fucking help from me. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got a good sense of humour. I mean, I think the, the least of his worries is me, is me doing anything about him. Because I was out with him and the fucking tirade of abuse that he was getting. And yeah, you're not getting my vote. You know, so rightfully so, you know, but uh, he's uh, fucked, as they say. Lots of people asking if Savage Eye is coming back for a third series. I actually don't know. Uh, I, I don't. I, I don't know what what questions. You know, I was thinking maybe there'd be there'd be a good episode about education. Why is the Irish education system so bad? You just talk about politics, or maybe why should the Irish be Protestant? You know, I think we'd be a lot better off. Yeah, because people have said there may not be too much more that you can. <laughs> no, do. I think they're right. Yeah. Although somebody said, would board study give you an idea for a potential episode on Irish begrudgery, mm. or would well, that we be like shooting fish in a barrel? Yeah, well, we did. We did have a. Uh, we did have a. Um, a t uh, we were going to say, why are the Irish a nation of begrudgers? Mm -hmm. But then that turned into, why are the Irish happy to be unhappy? And in fact, uh, I think we, we talked about begrudgery in there. I think, uh, yeah, no, we, we, we are begrudgers, you know, because other people's success, we feel it, it takes away from our potential success, which is not, not the case. Mm -hmm. But in, you know, hundreds of years ago, maybe in a static kind of economy, if somebody, you know, might have been uh, the case. But, but also, we, we're... we're um, we're, we're we're quite miserable, and we like we don't like to hear about other people's success, and that's why that's why th people like Joe Duffy are very successful because you can tune in to the misery, <laughs> you can tune in to the misery, and it makes you feel it, it, because 
the people who are generally talking to Joe are worse off than you are it makes you feel good about your your own uh, situation. Here's a long question, and I'm sorry for it. Do you ever see yourself writing a comedy drama or sitcom for Irish or English television like mm. some of the other Irish comedy writers? And would it be more in the traditional sense of a sitcom like The IT Crowd or For The Ted, yeah. or would it be more a comedy documentary like The Office or something else surreal like The Mighty Boosh? Yeah, <gasps> yeah, no, that's it. But, but the, the, you see, I was writing with uh, John Cleary, Pat McDonnell, and Dermot McMurrow. So there was mm. four, four of us in this. Yeah. So I couldn't, I, I don't, unless they want to continue working, I think like, uh, writing comedy is so difficult. Uh, I mean, that's why when those guys who wrote For The Ted were so good. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. I'm quite honest, you know. Okay. So, uh, but but I would like to. I'd love to. If if the team stayed together, I would love to write a, a, some sort of film script and, and make a uh, you know comedy. A well, that's film. interesting because mm. somebody asked if your movie idea is taking shape, is it? Will it be autobiographical? Will you be in it? Mm. And would it have to be set in Ireland, or if the price was right, America? Yeah, um, I, I I think. The reason I would like to do it is just to make something that's really funny and, and, and it would have an international audience as opposed to making something that's funny and only people in Ireland see it. Uh, so it would be good to try and, uh, you know, just imagine what your audience, what an audience, what, what you want from an audience and then try and reverse engineer the movie from there. What can people expect from I'm so happy? Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know. I just don't go and see it. Just... <laughs> No. Sorry, do go and see it. <laughs> Sorry, fuck, uh, do go and see it. Um, it's, uh, it's just, it's, uh, it's just stand-up, isn't it? Okay. And, uh, and, and I've recorded uh, some sketches specifically for Baker Street, which will okay. be rejected. So it's, it's not a Savage Eye uh, no. live show? No, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. I, and we, we're thinking about doing that, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It'd be an awful lot of work. Yeah. You know, you know. Uh, any advice for stand-up comedians, young ones trying to get their names out Yes, yeah, start on the street, slag people off, get them to talk about you for years and years, so going. even when you're not doing well, at least talking about you. Right. So that's good. No matter whether it's negative or positive, get them obsessed, get them talking, keep talking, keep talking. So keep on annoying and pick your targets. People... <laughs> No, anyway, no, uh, yeah, stand-up, 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 stand uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's and funny, why aren't there many, why aren't there, why aren't there as many women doing stand-up? This, right this is true, this is true, Eleanor was brilliant in Savage yeah, Eye. Yeah, yeah, and why aren't, why aren't there, why aren't there that many? I don't know. Um, do you read Criticism Online and do you read Boards.ie? I do, uh, I have read Boards.ie, I, but, you know, to be quite honest, uh, if I start reading good reviews or bad reviews, I, you know, if I read good reviews, I'll disappear on my own hole very right. quickly. If I read bad reviews, I get all depressed and so on. So I try not to uh, read them, to be quite honest. Okay. But then, uh, like, the director is obsessed with Boards, he, he reads everything all the time. And the thing is, though, he'll read all this shit that's written about me, and then it'll affect how he feels about me. So he's going, look, you fucking cunt, and I said, you've been reading Boards again, haven't you? <laughs> So, uh, are the yeah. kids embarrassed by you for the TV <laughs> success? Because suddenly kid. their daddy's on yeah, the TV. No, the, the than, oh. I am an embarrassment to my children. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, you know the way they, they grow up with it. They just think that's that's who he is, and that, that's fine. Um, you know, I, I mean, my son Jack, eleven, he's very very straight shooter. He's very very, very, very empathetic child, and I just think. He um, sometimes he gives me these looks that almost makes me feel like a child, and he's kind of doesn't. Jesus, don't do. Yeah, so I, I, I'm sure I do embarrass him uh, a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's good for them at that age. <laughs> yeah, but no, the, the whole online thing. You know, you can get. It's like kind of you know a scab that you shouldn't be picking, and you kind of you know keep on. But but you know that whole Facebook. I just recently started doing this Facebook thing, uh, and uh, you know. It's an unnatural form of fucking communication, you know, just, just a little, yeah, hmm, or really, <laughs> no, <laughs> what, you know, what, what do you mean by that, what the fuck, I don't know, the fuck, I'm 45, what the fuck are we talking like this for, what the fuck, why don't you, I'll meet you somewhere, what the, f <laughs> oh, okay, well, whatever, I, you know, how can you pick up sarcasm, you know, uh, you know, so it's a very unnatural form of, you know, the, you know these chat rooms, and, and I think guys, uh, you know, uh, get very, uh, you know, over-exaggerated feelings, you know, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, this Facebook and friends and so on. I mean, I have 1,400 friends on Facebook. They're not, they're not friends at all. 
It's, just, it's kind of like, I suppose, you know, when you're when your last day in school and you get people to sign your book? Yeah. That's all it is, yeah. really. Yeah. And then, you know, you're sitting there at three in the morning and somebody sends you a message, hey, what, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Do you, do you do your Facebook thing? I do my Facebook thing. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What do you what do you post up on your wall? I, I was just I was just out on the terrace and I had the strawberries. No, delicious. I I tend to keep the personal stuff out of it and it's different links to gigs mm. and com do a lot for comedy. Right, and stuff like right, that. okay. So I see what you're saying. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. It's more impersonal. I think that's the way to do it actually, because yeah. if you did it the other way, you'd be doing your fucking head in. And then there's the it's awful a... jokes that I find online and post as mm. my own. There was a great somebody sent me this sketch of Priest off. Right. I, I don't know if you've seen it. No. It's fantastic. It's this spray. That, uh, that t stops Peter Falk Priest from touching little kids. Huh? So the kid comes back and he's been raped by the priest and then a hey, priest off and then the, the parents spray their kid. And then he, yeah, anyway, priest off, go up on YouTube, it's very funny. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, 5th yeah, yeah. of March, yeah, yeah. 2011, Vicar Street, Dublin, and the last episode of the current series of uh, Savage Eye is on RT2 on Monday. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks a lot. For your time. Thanks, guys.